Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Headmasters video blog. It was so nice this week to be able to welcome back some of our students to school. We, we had a small number of our fourth year and lower sixth cohorts back for their programs. I'm really grateful to the um, team here at Truro who did everything they could to keep them safe. Uh, and I really hope that the fourth years who have embarked on uh, um, their personal development planning to get some sight lines over the next few years. I hope they found that useful. I also hope that the lower six enjoyed their one-on-ones catching up with their teachers. What was most enjoyable for me was just to see the joy of the boys and girls um, being able to see their friends and classmates again, which was great. So um, well done on that. You would have read in the weekly bulletin about the most fantastic results that we've achieved in the Leith's food and wine certificates. Um, the Boys and girls in the upper sixth who were our first cohort have absolutely shot the lights out and Miss Taylor is simply delighted with, her, with what she said is the best ever Leith's result that she's, she's ever got for her students. More distinctions than anything else. Um, this is clearly feeding through because I know the fifth year is rising up into the lower sixth. There are, is a really good number of students who have signed up to do the Leith's certificate. Um, I think Miss Taylor is going to be running three classes next year. Uh, so yeah, excellent and well done on those students results. Busy week coming up this week and indeed next. Uh, I'm looking forward to welcoming uh, Mr Andy Johnson who's going to be my successor. He's going to be dropping into a couple of teams assemblies this week. Um, on Monday he's going to be joining me in the fifth year assembly to say hello to his rising lower sixth and uh, then on Tuesday when uh, we um, announce senior prefects for, for next year in the lower sixth assembly. I'm looking forward to welcoming Mr. Johnson and for him to say a few words. Meanwhile, Mr. Sanderson and the whole PE department with Mr. Jobling as well have been super busy uh, planning a virtual sports day, which looks to be a huge amount of fun. I, I encourage you to get stuck in. Uh, points are at stake here for the OP Shield, uh, all to play for and uh, do make the most of it. I've yet to decide whether I'm going to be running, cycling or rowing for my half an hour, but uh, I'll let you know when I do. Uh, this week, at the end of the week, we've got our colours assembly. I've done a pre-recorded video. I seem to be doing a lot of those uh, these days. Uh, we've, uh, we're awarding sports and other colours to our boys and girls who've excelled over the course of the year. I'm really grateful to the feedback and involvement from our sports captains who've taken part in that pre-recorded video message. And finally, in the last week of term at Truro School, for, for many a year now, we've always taken the whole school off timetable and our chaplain, the, the Reverend Auburn, and his committee of World Aims coordinators have worked on a program for students and it comes under the banner, if you like, of social justice. And we've tackled all sorts of issues in the past, uh, human rights through the Amnesty Group, uh, plastic in the oceans recently. Uh, we've done some a disaster relief day and um, issues of sustainability, really important topics for our, our students to wrestle with. I'm really pleased this year that we've been able to adapt the program to incorporate some activities for our bo boys and girls un under the banner of Black Lives Matter. So important right now that we consider what more we can do as a school um, in our curriculum and elsewhere to ensure that we debate and discuss the Black Lives Matter movement and how we can ensure that um, any form of discrimination at Truro School is absolutely um, not tolerated. And I'm really pleased that the World Aims Committee have been able to, at rather short notice, make that um, adaption. So yeah, look forward to that. Uh, that's all from me this week.